Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm just at my shop again here today. So uh, just gonna be finishing off that uh, mid pipe and all that. I guess uh, fix those leaks and everything. So I don't know. I got my seat clips. I got two of them this time. So yeah, I'm good to go. Hopefully, I don't lose them both though. That would freaking suck. But uh, anyways, yeah. So I'm just gonna get working on this, and I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. Yeah, so I got lucky. I only had to uh, take it halfway apart there, so took off a few things. Uh, I tightened those ones up on the top. I'm just going to jack it back up and uh, get the ones on the bottom all tightened up. But it's just a pain in the ass jacking it up because i got to jack it up a bit on the side uh, so I can slip the jack under the front and then jack it up and uh, put boards and shit under the tires when I let it down. Yeah, it's sunny outside, but it's not too warm in here. It's freaking freezing. Yeah, so that kind of sucks, but uh, just keep working away, I guess. All right, guys. So yeah, I skipped a whole bunch of shit, and I uh, just went ahead and did all the work there. But I got my engine bay all back together, and uh, I'll show you down here underneath the car. I went and uh, tightened up those downpipe bolts and shit. But after about like two hours of messing around, I finally got that little E clip there. Yeah, I'm not too sure how good it'll show up in the video, but it's up in there and everything. But uh. I tightened up those bolts on the the flange there and uh, there's a little pinhole I patched up and I tightened the bolts up for the downpipe so I'm just about to fire it up again and uh, see how it worked out this time. Yeah so I fired it up again and you can tell right away that uh got the leaks around the downpipe fixed so that's pretty good so I'm just going to let it warm up I'm uh, going to run home I have some oil and stuff I'm going to do a quick oil change on it. Probably I'm gonna go up to like the license bureau there and get a fucking sticker and stuff and stick it on the road for a little bit. Yeah, so I uh, don't know, I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm just gonna let it warm up and everything there and uh, run home, get the oil, go to the, get the sticker, come back and I'll probably go for a little romp in it. So just hold on. So holy crap, it's a few days later now. Three days actually, but look, look at the grimy beard. Uh, started that video. Went to the ministry there, got about like halfway there and realized, oh, it's a freaking holiday today. So, just went home, had a nap and stuff, and the whole day got dicked there. So, and then Tuesday it snowed, so I was like, freaking screw that. And I uh, took my girlfriend to go see her family in Wolfsburg and stuff there. So, I don't know, anyways, on Wednesday there, I went up to the ministry there, freaking, I uh, went to get my sticker and all that. And they're like, oh, you need, uh, you need to freaking get it your insurance company to add it to an acceptance table because they're getting some air there so went home called my insurance company and they're like oh we don't see any problems we have it added or whatever and I go back to there and uh, the people at the ministry ended up calling my insurance company and explained it to them with their technical terms and shit and uh, I don't know I guess they had to add it and uh, it takes 24 hours to get accept or like to update or something on their system so I'm just waiting for that to get my freaking sticker and so can't go there yet. It was like three o'clock by the time I got a hold of them, got them to add it and all that. So I don't know. I'm just gonna do the oil change on this today. I already have it started draining. Having a rough go here. I freaking got here too, and I didn't even have my memory card in my camera, so I had to run home. So the oil's pretty much drained there. I just have to get the oil filter up top here. Hit my light for you. Yeah, you can see it. Oh, not really. There we go, yeah, you can see the filter down in the freaking top of the engine bay though, so it makes a huge ass mess when you drain it out, but I'm just going to do that, and uh, got my oil and a like OEM filter I got with that other car there, so put those things in there, then I'm going to, uh, my neighbor, my landlord's not here, so probably going to take it out and I'll make some good exhaust clips there, son of a bitch to the neighbors and all that real good, so just hold on a few minutes. Yeah, so it's warmed up pretty good now. It's uh, started pretty smooth there.
Yeah, so she's all ready for a romp there. So hopefully I get my sticker tomorrow and all that. No more messing around because it's pretty nice out. Like even in my shop today, it's like 10 degrees Celsius or like almost 50 uh, Fahrenheit or whatever. So it's freaking nice out. I can't even drive my car. It's running all nice and smooth. But uh, anyways, my buddy's supposed to be stopping over here. He wants me to go to the junkyard with him and uh, needs a new throttle cable for his car or whatever so we're gonna go out there and i'll make a little video all right so yeah we're just here at the junkyard here in london so it's a nice big one goes way the hell back there you can see all that so we're just gonna make our way back to the back corner like way over here that's where all the mazdas are so yeah i'm just uh looking for mx3s there there's one right there but it's pretty dicked found another one there but yeah rx7 Freaking right. Duh. Oh shit, I just see another one right here. I didn't even see this before. I'll check this one out. See what's going on up under the hood here. Yeah, so we found a decent one here. It's only a little bit dicked, so. Yeah, the cords, or the throttle cable's good there, so. She's just taking out the last couple bolts, and we'll head up and see how much they're gonna rape us for it. <laughs> oh shit, it's the cops. Somebody fucking dicked the car up good. This shit's all tore apart. Let me find some needles back in there or something. <laughs> Look at this thing with. here, eh? Holy shit. Get those fucking injectors on the top. What the fuck is that for? Is it propane injection or something? I don't have a clue. Look at those things. Maybe they got knots. I don't know. It's pretty weird though. Yeah, $33, we had to pull the fucking thing off ourselves, freaking bastards. Yeah, so look at this thing here, it's my old car. Just gonna uh, put the throttle cable on there for him, so I'll pop the hood and shit and get working on that. Yeah, so look at this thing here, it's uh, seen better days, that's for sure. The paint's all dicked right there and uh, dirty as hell. I'll uh, show you this picture here, this is what the engine bay used to look like. Yeah, so the throttle cable just goes right there, loops around and uh, comes back right up in there. So I just reached under the dash there and uh, unhooked it from the actual pedal there. So just got to pop it out just right in there and uh, undo those bolts and it should be off there. Yeah, so I got that switched up and uh, fired it up there. Maybe uh, once it warms up, we'll rev it up a bit for you guys. Yeah. So I'll show you around there. Let that thing warm up, I guess. Oh, it's freaking tail lights out. Back out here. Look at all that smoke there. It's chooching. It's chooching big time. <laughs> you won't rev it up. <laughs> you won't rev it up. You won't. <laughs> Look at all the smoke there, it's still a little bit cold. <laughs> <laughs> 